Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. This is Orphan Last, aka Skylar Madison, and today I'm just going to go ahead and cover some really simple basics about the effect schematic and a little bit about the function editor. Now, I have this person making this request for a two minute video just explaining this. Now, the thing is, is even though the specific effect that he wants is po possibly the easiest effect that you could possibly apply, it's not as if you can just teach OpenTunes's effect schematic and the function editor in two minutes. You just simply can't. But I'll, I'll try. Okay, so let's go ahead and make a few shapes. Uh, I'm not going to make any big elaborate animation or anything like that. Uh, yeah, you know, let's do a red rectangle. Okay, and let's go ahead and make a blue circle uh, on a different level. So we have these two objects. The specific thing that he's requesting is how do you make something transparent? Now, the main reason why I'm covering this is because it's such a common request. People asking how do you how do you do this? How do you how do you do something like that? So let's uh, go into the animation tab, okay? This is where all the magic happens. I have the function editor right here, and I have the X sheet here. Now, recently, uh, like in the past, they used to have a button here that would say X sheet, and you'd click that to get the timeline, okay? But they've now changed it to an icon that has a uh, visual representation of what these things are. Okay, now on when I'm working with the uh, with the function editor and the effect schematic, I tend to use the X sheet just simply because when I'm scrubbing through the animation and such like that, it's so much easier. So we're on frame one. You can see there's nothing there on the function editor. Uh, as can be expected. Now the effect schematic, uh, the schematic shares two different types of tools, okay? We have the stage schematic, which is used for parenting when you do uh, cutout animation, and then the effect schematic, okay? And we can see that D, column 2, column 2, D, and when I select it you can actually see that it's selected right here. Now column 1, C, okay? We can see that I selected that, okay? So, we want to make column 2 uh, transparent, okay? So, how do we do that? Well, we go into effects right here if we want, and we can find the effects, or we can right-click right, uh, right on this blue line, insert effects, and you can find it in this list right here, but sometimes auto-saves uh, get to be a pain in the butt, and it interrupts your search. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go into here. Um, both approaches are just fine, uh, such like that, and I'm already past uh, two minutes. Uh, let's see here, blur, distort, gradient, oh boy. Where is it? Now, how to make something transparent is, is like, like opacity and stuff like that, that's, uh, a question that a lot of people have. Uh, let's see, transparency right there. Layer blending, transparency. So if you, we do it the other way, uh, let's see, insert effects, layer blending, transparency. Now we have layer blending inno. Don't go to that one if you want to do transparency. It's just layer blending, transparency there at the bottom. Okay? So sometimes you might see it just appear like this where it's just free floating, okay? You don't want that. You want the actual column sent through the source and into the X sheet, okay? Now, obviously nothing's happened to our animation. Uh, it hasn't, nothing has happened to this frame right here. All right, so what, what do we do? Well, we double click on transparency and it says 50% transparency. Well, why don't we see something? Well, you just go into here uh, you click right here, where my mouse is, right here, and that is the preview mode. And that really helps you out right there. Now, let's go ahead and expose these two frames for a good long while, okay? And basically what we're able to do is we're actually able to uh, do something on the function editor and we're able to animate it. So. If you notice, I, I clicked on transparency and it kind of highlighted this area right here on the upper area. And then I clicked on it 
If I keep clicking on it, you'll see this appear and disappear. Okay? Now that's normal. So, transparency. So we're on uh, frame 1. Let's double click that and it says 50. Okay, so that's cool. Let's say on frame 10 we want 50 again. And let's say we want it to kind of flicker a little bit. Um, let's have it go to um, 90. And uh, let's say to frame 15, yeah, 15, 90 again, and then uh, 50, and uh, let's say over on 25, we put in 50, and then 90 once again. Uh, let's say 90, and then 50, okay? Now, we can actually, we, we, we can see that this thing flickers quite a bit. So we press play, and you can kind of see it kind of, just kind of flicker in the animation. Um, now I do have videos about the effect schematic and such like that. I mean, a lot of times uh, people are asking questions and such like that, but they're not really investigating whether or not those videos actually already exist. I have a playlist on my channel. I have the Curvelinear Perspective playlist and I have the Open Tunes tutorials. Okay, so let's uh, let's go ahead and look through this list. Okay, I have a video prerequisites to the effects uh, schematic and the uh, function editor. Okay, I have how to animate a blur effect with the function editor and the effects schematic. Okay, I have these two videos, they've been on my channel for quite some time, so the thing is, there is an order of complexity that we can get with the effect schematic. It's not just, oh, just one, you apply one effect to a column, it's, it's way more complex than that. We can uh, insert, let's say, um, there's all sorts of different things that we can do with this. Render, okay, let's go ahead and render particles, okay, let's go steam, uh, what, what happens? when we plug this into, into the texture right here, okay? Look at that. Okay, so right now we can't really see anything that's going on in the red area because it needs to process it. Notice how while I'm scrubbing through, it's turning it green and then transparent. Okay, so see that? I applied those two effects to this node and now we have this interesting effect that actually might look pretty good uh, for fire actually maybe not with it being a circular object or you know kind of a magical effect I had no idea that I was going to make that effect at all I had no idea that I was going to do that so um, and, and we can uh, continue to make our own effects uh, just by tinkering with the effect schematic um, and, and we, we can animate these particles, okay? Like, for example, I click on here, we see, okay, column one, that's, okay, so, like, if I double click this, I can see all these different, uh, things going on here. Um, but, you know, sometimes you don't want to mess with this. Uh, control image threshold, multiple generators, like, uh, all of that probably exists, well, no, I guess... Somehow that stuff doesn't exist in there. It's steam particle. Why isn't that uh, steam particle right there? Okay, so let's let's uh, go back to column one and turn that off and go to steam particle. Okay, so um, uh, gravity angle function, wind intensity. So we double click this. Um, let's see. So there's actually more options. Oh, wait. birth parameters. So all of these different sections here, all birth color, control image, birth, uh, birth spread, birth intensity. You know, all all of this stuff that's inside of the options of a, a node, an effects node, exist within the upper portion 
of the effect schematic. And you're able to animate each and every single one of those little things, those options, on the effect schematic. Okay? So that's how that works. So when, when somebody is asking me, well, how do I add a transparency? I don't know. What, what do you want to do with it? How much about Open Tunes do you know? Because uh, if you don't know much about Open Tunes, if you don't know much about the function editor, I can't really help you that much with the uh, schematic. And if what you're wanting to do is to have like a flickering effect, uh, you're, you're going to have to know how to use the function editor and, and such. So, I mean, there's videos on YouTube about all of this. Um, like, here, let me, um, let me add in a new effects. Um, let's add gradient, a four point gradient. Okay, that's weird. I've never even seen that before. Um, Oh, okay, so it's not plugged into anything, and there's no source or anything to plug it into. That That's kind of interesting. I didn't know that would happen. Okay, let's see. Image adjust. Uh, let's say invert. Okay, so it turned it from blue uh, to yellow. Let's see what options exist for this. Let's double click on it. Okay, no, oh, yeah, no real options. We just get this empty pop-up screen. Okay, well, that was, that was interesting and worth taking a look at. Uh, let's see, uh, let's see, there should be some sort of distort, uh, gradient warp, uh, linear wave, let's do linear wave, oh, that's cool, look at that, let's, let's see if it, if it's done anything, like, or is it just applied to that frame, oh, okay, so it is animated, isn't that cool, so th this in and of itself is something that would look, again, really good for, for a fire like you see how the let me go ahead and deactivate this uh, this red thing like smoke for a fire this looks pretty cool for that so I'm just tinkering with the effect schematic and when, when someone's asking oh well how do you do this effect or that effect I can show you the basics but showing you uh, how you can create your own effects that's all you. You need to figure that out. You need to figure out how to get the function editor to work and such. And I've already tagged uh, two of my videos that teach the really basics uh, that you need to know in order to uh, know to turn on the preview mode and how to kind of use the uh, a, a function editor and the effect schematic. You know, there's a stage schematic and the effect schematic that can get people confused because they look almost exactly the same. So, uh, just keep that in mind. Uh, I hope this has been helpful. Um, just remember that, you know, some requests are a little uh, difficult to fulfill. One does not simply learn OpenTunes' schematic and function editor in two minutes. I don't even know how that's possible. So, um, I, I mean, I, I've tried to help. I did uh, explain the specific effects that this guy was asking for transparency in the end like you could ignore all of this other stuff that I've gone ahead and shown and just that okay just that and if you uh, if you uh, want to dial up the transparency you can do that if you want to dial it down significantly so that's still visible okay maybe that oh look at that so there's all sorts of different things that you can do. You can animate the transparency like I showed earlier. So that should be helpful enough. But, you know, there's so many different effects that just exist all as individual nodes that you could just plug one node straight from your column to your X sheet. And it like this... I could make a video about each and every single one of these, but the thing is, is even still, I mean, it, it would do me no good because people would be like, well, what if I want to add um, this effect with this effect and this effect and uh, um, this effect? How do I do that? I, like, that's up to you at that point. You, like, that, that gets an order of magnitude more complex, and you need to figure that out. Uh, but yeah, I, it's just transparency seems to be the big thing. I had a problem with it. 
Um, two other people have had a problem with it, and so I decided to make a video specifically about transparency. Anyways guys, that pretty much concludes it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you guys would like to get more notifications from me, feel free to click on the bell. And if you guys would like to see more of my content, feel free to click on anything that's appearing on the screen right now. Thank you very much for your time.